Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to the day in the life of working at home as an online fitness coach. So I'm taking you through my morning routine right now and it's waking up, not looking at my phone or any screens, taking my supplements, say hello to Mr. Bash, how to feed him breakfast. Then I try to step outside if it's nice out and just relax and really just take time to myself. I've also been ice rolling my face every morning, doing my skincare, and I've been using this Trader Joe's oil to wash on my face, and I'll usually go back outside to do that. And then I come in and take the rest of my supplements here, just electrolytes I take every single day, and creatine and collagen as well. The supplements you saw me take earlier were supplements recommended by my functional medicine doctor. So those have been helping me with certain hormonal issues and cortisol levels and all of that fun stuff. But I mixed all that together, have my breakfast, and today we dove right into doing client check-ins. Hi guys, so I've been super quiet in this vlog so far. I've been trying to have a super quiet morning. I'm gonna make a whole video about like health updates and routines that I'm doing. So having a quiet morning is super important to me right now. And again, I'll go into it in a different video, but that's what my morning was. And now I, well, first I did some work, started getting through client check-ins at about half of the ones I need to do. So when I get back where, from where I'm going right now, which is the gym, I'll get those done so right now i'm heading to the gym kind of in a rush i'm going to meet a friend at a different gym that i don't go to i'm going to her gym so excited to go get my lift in for the day i didn't have time to have like another full meal so i'm having a good old rice krispie treat just to get some carbs in before i do go lift then when i get back i'll have like a full meal and everything in my system so i'll feel good um but yeah today's a leg day super excited I'm gonna go so I can go hit the gym now. up at the gym it was good so i did my leg workout it was a little bit different than my normal leg workout just because there was different machines and i was just trying to figure out where everything was that's kind of how it goes when i go to a new gym and then i did the sauna well actually i walked on the treadmill for just like 10 minutes to get some steps in because i'm gonna be sitting for a little bit then i used the sauna and then i used the hydro massage whatever thing and that was great it was all fun so now i'm gonna head back home i'm starving so i need to make some food do some client check-ins have a client call and then i'm actually gonna go check out an apartment see if i want to live there or not i'm not too sure we'll see i don't know if it's that nice so we'll just check it out so ate food that gigantic lunch which was so good and then now I'm just going to finish up my client check-ins. Hopefully before I have to go to the apartment tour. I'm going to try to bang some out and then shower, go to the apartment tour. And then when I get back, I'm going to do any extra work that I didn't get done today. I'm going to do that. And yeah, this, this is my day. Day in the life of an online fitness coach. This is how we run things. We hit the gym. We sit at our computer a lot, especially on client check-in days. But... It's okay because we love it. I want to talk about a little bit how client check-ins work, just so you know if you're not a fitness coach. Um, but essentially, clients fill out a form every single week, and this form has all types of questions on it, like how are they feeling, how are like their nutrition protocols feeling, more mindset stuff, like anything they struggle with, gym stuff, all the stuff, you know. And then. We read through that and then I have notes for every single individual client that I take each week. Then I go into their account on the fitness app that we use and through there I'm able to access like their nutrition logs and workout logs and their updated weight and progress photos, all of that. So check everything there, check all 
out all the details, see if we need to make any changes, and then if not, keep the same. I give them their feedback, kind of what we need to work on, what went well, what didn't, what we should focus in on for the upcoming week, any changes, and then that's how that goes. So it's a lot of fun. Um, it's looking at every person's individual profile. Um, so it does take a little bit of time, but it's so worth it and it's so nice to motivate people to celebrate all their wins and see all their progress and everything. So it's super fun. Um, so yeah, I have a little bit more to go for these and then I'm going to be done for the day. Hopefully I get them all done. I don't know if I can get them all done in within like 30 minutes, but we'll try. All right, we're about to be on our way to the apartment tour that I'm going to. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but we'll see. I am so close to being done with client check-ins. I have about three more when I get back and then I'm going to go for a nice walk because it's like 80 something degrees which is so nice for austin so nice so definitely want to take advantage of this it's been super hot so now it's starting to cool down a little bit so yeah i gotta take advantage of this nice weather go for a nice walk get more steps in because i'm probably pretty low on steps to be honest and then when i get back i'll probably either get some more work done some content stuff some dm stuff things like that and then um have dinner We'll see, we'll see where the day takes us, but right now we're gonna go to the apartment tour. I finished client check-ins. Woo, finally finished them. Uh, spread them out throughout the, all day uh, so it's 5 p.m. now so I'm probably gonna take a quick second then go for a walk and then we'll see what else I do what I actually do I'm just gonna show you instead of talking about it because I feel like I do that too much so let me let me just show you It's honestly so nice having this trail right behind my apartment. It's so convenient. I always am just out here and it's so quick and easy to go for a walk. I don't have to drive anywhere to go for one. It's literally perfect. I just turned around at this amount. I don't really have a specific mile goal in mind. I just was walking and then I was like, all right, time to turn around. So we're just walking. I know I'm going to hit my step goal for today because it wasn't too far off. Nice 30 minute walk, mile and a half, not bad. Alright, so just got back from the walk. It's pretty nice outside, just a little toasty. So I'm going to like rinse off real quick and then I am going to do some work because it's 6 o'clock now. I want to be logged off by like 7 so instead of like having dinner now then finishing up some stuff so i'm gonna do some more work and then i am going to make dinner so the work that i have to do now is like replying to dms messages that came through i've been replying pretty quickly all day today um and then i want to finish some content stuff um just some things i've been working on i kind of want to tie that up a little bit before the weekend comes because today's Thursday. I don't know if I even mentioned that, but it's Thursday and my Fridays are super busy. So I'm not gonna have much time to do any of that tomorrow. And yeah, so Fridays are super busy, won't have time for that. So I wanna get it done now so I don't have to do so much next week because I already have a lot of client calls scheduled next week. And next week's filling up pretty quickly. I have a concert I'm gonna go to and it's just gonna get hectic, I feel like, so. The more I can do right now and set myself up for success, it's going to be better because Sunday I have a little work block planned that I'm going to do some work, some more client-focused programming work, but I don't really want to focus on content that day unless I need to film something so I can like be put together, but right now I'm not filming. We're just going to edit some stuff that I have. Mr. Bash says hello. He is doing well. 
Okay, it's time to assemble dinner slash also do my dishes from the day. So I do need to clean the pan before I assemble my dinner. This week, I, I didn't really plan that well, um, anything fancy. I've just been having quesadillas, chicken, buffalo, not buffalo, barbecue chicken quesadillas with some potatoes and zucchini on the side. I had leftover like potatoes and zucchini that I needed to make and I'm trying to get rid of these wraps because I'm trying to uh, for the time being not eat as much gluten right now for some health stuff that I'm going to dive into on a different video but I'm not going gluten free forever but just right now I'm trying to limit it so I'm trying to like go through all the stuff that I do have so I wanted to make something with wraps so I could just like get it out of here um I had a wrap earlier unfortunately because my sourdough bread got moldy and so had to make something with that earlier so I ended up just having a wrap earlier so two wraps in one day whatever it's fine it works it works it's fine um yeah, I'm gonna do my dishes now. I'm not gonna show you that because that's not fun. Um, and then I'll make my dinner and show you. And then I think the Inside Out 2 movie came out on Disney Plus and I really wanna watch it and I'm done with work and it's seven o'clock right now. So I think if I can watch that, depending on how long it is, I might watch that. I'm hoping it's not too long because I wanna get into my whole night routine pretty early. So I have to wake up at like 6 tomorrow, so I want to get to bed super early, like 10, so have my night routine, read, all of that fun stuff, but yeah, I'm gonna do my stuff now. Alright, here's my super random dinner, but whatever, it's, it's yummy, I like it. 